welcome to the course on design of power electronic converters and uh, we were discussing MOSFETs and we had uh, looked into several terms associated with uh, um, in the data sheets of MOSFETs. And so now let us uh, look into an example of a MOSFET data sheet. The example data sheet that I have chosen is uh, by your international rectifier. So, as you can see here that this is a 200 volt MOSFET and RDS on uh, provided is uh, 0 0.023 ohms and uh, then your uh, the continuous current rating is given as 94 amperes. And this is your uh, uh, some of the applications, these are some of the applications then the key features uh, of uh, this MOSFET are also highlighted by the manufacturer. And this is picture of the MOSFET in here what it shows is says is that this is the package that is used TO247. Now let us uh, look into some of uh, these ratings that are provided uh, by the manufacturer. So you can see here that uh, this is your ID value which is uh, at 25 degree C continuous drain current is given as 94 amperes. This is what we had seen before 94 amperes and uh, you are at 100 degree C the value that is given is 66 amperes. So there is a decrease in that value and this is what we had discussed before also. Then your pulsed drain current this I had also explained you um, in the diode uh, data sheet example that there will be pulsed drain current. Pulsed drain current means basically for a short time if you want to apply a pulse. So then that rating will be much higher than this ID rating which is uh, being passed continuously. So that you can see here this is given as 380 amperes and the power dissipation at 25 degree C this is given as uh, 580 watt. Then further your gate to source voltage maximum rating is given as plus minus 30 volt. Now this is what is the maximum it, it does not mean that this is what you are supposed to apply ok this is what it can withstand gate to source voltage. Then your peak uh, diode recovery dv by dt this we had also discussed uh, when we discussed the data sheet terms. So uh, this dv by dt limit also you can see here this is provided 6.7 volt per nanosecond. Then your operating junction temperature and storage temperature range is given as minus 55 to 175 degree C. Then uh, further your uh, uh, you can see here that there are some other specifications that also may be provided basically your soldering temperature and mounting torque uh, those specifications. Then your thermal resistances they are also given here junction to case um, is 0 0.26 uh, this is over here given in degree C per watt. Uh, previously I had shown new data sheets where it is given in Kelvin per watt. So here they have provided in uh, Celsius per watt. And uh, then your case to sink thermal resistance that is also given in the junction to ambient thermal resistance what could be maximum that is also given by the manufacturer. Now let us look into the other specifications. So here you can see that this is drain to source a breakdown voltage which is given as 200 volt that we saw initially also and um, uh, what is the condition at which they measured it that is also provided. Then uh, further this RDS on this we have seen before so maximum it is 0.023 ohms that is given and at what condition they measured it that is also provided for gate to source voltage of 10 volt and uh, your ID is equal to 56 amperes that is what your th this data sheet shows. Okay, then gate to source threshold voltage um, you can see here that this is minimum is 3 volt max is 5 volt and uh, uh, then uh, they measured the threshold for this condition. 
then drain to source uh, leakage current there will be some small leakage uh, in the drain to source also. So, that also they have given here this 25 microampere 250 microampere and uh, you can see here that that is provided for two different conditions one here is VDS is 200 volt and um, another one here VDS is 160 volt and VGS in both these cases is 0 volt and here the junction temperature is also specified. Similarly, your uh, this uh, IGSS gate to source leakage that is also provided and that is also given here uh, what could be and this is in nano amperes. Then your, uh, your dynamic characteristics basically that means your uh, switching characteristics of uh, the MOSFET that is also provided here. So, what you see is the forward transconductance GFS uh, this graph we had seen. So, uh, that is provided then your total gate charge, total gate charge is maximum is 270. And uh, for what conditions they measured it, uh, those are also given here, it is given in nano coulomb. Then gate to source charge, then gate to drain charge, this is your basically your Miller charge, okay, which plays uh, important role during your switching. So, that is also given as maximum 130 nano coulombs. Then turn on delay time, your rise time and turn off delay time and fall time, what do the all these mean? This we had discussed before. So, this also you can see here that all of these are provided, typical values are provided and at what conditions uh, they had uh, done the, um, they have tested it, they have measured it that also is given by the manufacturer. Then your input capacitance and output capacitance, reverse transfer capacitance, this is provided. Now, you can see here this output capacitance is provided three times and uh, you can compare uh, the condition for which uh, these values have been given that you can check. Uh, so, accordingly you can see here that these values are different, output capacitance values are given, it is given in picofarad. And so, there is an effective output capacitance that is given which is given as 870 picofarad. Then some avalanche characteristics, you, uh, your uh, avalanche energy, avalanche current and repetitive avalanche energy, those things are also given in the data sheet. Further, what is given is the diode characteristics. Now, diode characteristics is uh, important because uh, the current is going to flow in both the directions and that is how it is used in power electronic circuits. So, uh, diode also carries the current, so your continuous source current is given. Now, it is not uh, written as your forward current because um, uh, you know that the current is going to flow in this direction from source to drain. So, that is why it is written like as continuous source current. So, it is also 94 ampere which is same and that is important because if the diodes rating is lesser than uh, that also uh, we should be careful about that uh, that limits the use of the MOSFET. Then pulse to source current if a for short time uh, pulse is uh, current is applied then that rating is much higher. So, that we can see is 380 amperes again same as the MOSFET rating. Then diode forward voltage drop or VST because uh, this drop is going to be from source to drain. So, that is given as uh, 1.5 volt and uh, reverse recovery time of the diode this is important okay, because uh, the diode should also switch as quickly as the MOSFET. Uh, but uh, this may not uh, happen all the time because uh, the diode uh, turn off time actually dominates the, the entire switching process. Then your reverse recovery charge uh, QRR that is also provided here and uh, forward turn on time is not given it is just uh, saying that intrinsic turn on time is negligible and that is uh, we had discussed before that usually your turn on times of diodes are very small. Now, let us uh, look into some of the performance curves that are provided in the data sheets. So, here what is given is your uh, drain current, drain to source current 
versus your drain to source voltage which is your output characteristics. So, what you see here is that uh, this is as um, your gate to source voltage is increased. So, it is going into this one which is your ohmic region. Um, and uh, then so from here what we see is that as uh, we uh, start applying above 10 volt or about 12 volt that is when it starts to go into ohmic region. So, that much is the gate to source voltage uh, that then we should be providing. Then uh, this is uh, you are given for 25 degree C this for output characteristics then they have given another one which is at uh, 175 degree C the same output characteristics at 175 degree C and you can see that these characteristics there is some difference in that. Then uh, further this is your uh, drain current versus your gate to source voltage which is your transfer characteristics. And uh, that also you can see here two graphs are given one for 25 degree C and one for 175 degree C. And from this graph uh, what uh, uh, you can observe is that, uh, that the minimum the threshold is going to be about 5 volt gate to source voltage above which actually the drain current starts to increase. Then your RDS on. Uh, versus your junction temperature this we had discussed before. So, what you can see is that that as temperature increases your this RDS on also increases the on state resistance. Further this is your capacitance versus your drain to source voltage uh, I had told you this before that these capacitances they are not constant but uh, they vary with this drain to source voltage and that is what is shown. So, this is your input capacitance you can see not much uh, effect is there on the input capacitance but output capacitance and your this uh, reverse transfer capacitance they are varying a lot because of your as your drain to source voltage changes and that is why we see the Miller effect also. Then uh, further this is your um, gate charge characteristics. So, gate charge versus your gate to source voltage. So, here you can see that that uh, initially as the gate to source voltage increases this uh, your charge is increased that means the gate uh, source region is being charged the gate to source voltage builds up. After that uh, there is that Miller effect and then um, although the charge is uh, increasing the gate is being charged, but you do not see much increase in the gate to source voltage. And after that uh, whatever is the leftover voltage with respect to the what is the voltage applied on the uh, gate by the driver. So, uh, that is that is where to get to source voltage increases and uh, this is the rest of the charge that will be associated with the gate to source region. And you can see here that uh, this uh, here uh, these graphs they separate out and uh, they slightly vary depending on your what is the drain to source voltage that is applied. Next uh, this is your uh, diode current versus your source to drain voltage means basically this is your forward characteristics of the diode which is uh, shown here. So, um, uh, this is your this diode. So, whatever is this which is flowing from source to drain that is this ISD current and uh, whatever is the voltage associated with here that is your VSD voltage. So, that characteristics is is shown here ok the forward characteristics and you can see that the threshold voltage for the diode is, is around 0.5 over here. And then this is your uh, safe operating area this also we had discussed uh, before. So, your safe operating area you can see these uh, three limits one this limit is because of the ohmic um, characteristics ohmic region and then this is limited by your maximum power dissipation limits and this is your current limit and this part is your voltage limit. And as your pulse duration it uh, decreases your power dissipation that increases. So, that is your safe operating area for the MOSFET. 
Further, what you see here is your drain current versus case temperature and that derating has to happen as temperature increases your drain current is going to limit is going to come down and that is what this graph shows. Apart from that the manufacturer has, has also given some test circuits which they have used for uh, doing the measurements. Then further the, the manufacturer has also provided this um, uh, thermal impedance uh, graphs the thermal response. So, this we will not discuss now we will uh, discuss it later on in the course when we go for thermal design. Then further uh, there may be several other uh, these kind of performance uh, graphs that may be curves that may be provided uh, by the manufacturer and uh, different uh, test circuits and application circuits may also be provided by the manufacturer. Now, here uh, you can uh, see that uh, the manufacturer has also provided this peak diode reverse recovery DV by DT test how they have uh, performed it and uh, then uh, some of the waveforms associated with it that also is uh, given by the manufacturer ok. So, these kind of lot of information may be given by the manufacturer and different manufacturers provide different types of uh, information. So, um, you can look into it and usually they are self explanatory and uh, suppose you are not able to uh, follow them then you can uh, go into the application notes of the uh, by the manufacturer and there you will be finding all that information. Next uh, this is your uh, packaging information that is given. So, basically the dimensions are uh, provided uh, you can see here that uh, this is uh, the, the package and uh, the dimensions also usually in this part they, they will be given uh, giving the dimensions of the package that, that are used which you can um, refer to it while you are making the PCB footprints for your PCB design. So, as you saw here that um, where that um, this is an example uh, I have taken and it is uh, it's international rectifiers MOSFET. So, they have given certain set of performance curves and test circuits and different uh, information apart from the usual notations that are provided in most of the data sheets. So, like that uh, you can look through it and uh, then based on it you can choose the MOSFET that is going to be suitable for your application. Thank you.